This week, it's a fight for survival between Gaga singing Sunshine. Oh, oh, oh. Beyonce double Rachel. I can't wait to get my voice back because I will sing the shit out of her. And Shabby. I don't understand! you up. Yes, the World Cup isn't only the only knockout tournament worth watching this summer. Look at this! Oh. It's time to forget our boys. Tonight, it's all about our girls. We've got a proper girl Friday for you tonight. A sunshine, Rachel, Shabby are all vying to avoid being the latest big brother girl to be out the first. Did you know that every single year since Big Brother began, we have waved goodbye to a woman first? There was Shorda, Penny, Lynn, Anushka, Kitten, Scary Mary, Bonnie, Shabnam, Stephanie and Benazir. Do you remember them? No. No, you don't remember them. Do you know why not? Because they were out first! This is bad! Anyway, either Rachel, Shabby or Sunshine are going to be inducted into that all-female hall of no fame. gut wrench. The voting numbers are coming shortly, but first, oh, what a memorable start to your last ever Big Brother it's been. If you missed any of it, then this little recap should help you. Brother chooses Josie Gibson, <laughs> Stephen Gill. Why are you a mole? If them not finger you as the mole, sadly, you're evicted. You dump all of the vegetables in the pool. Start trashing plates. Pull the tablecloth off. <gasps> Look at it. Who's done this? Would the real mole please step forward? <gasps> Mario. Mario. Your impossible task is now over. Well, yeah. You are no longer required to wear the mole costume or to sleep in the mole yeah. hole. Shabby. 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 She is somewhat too volatile for the house at times. Shabby. Dave. David. Dave. I think he's perhaps playing some kind of game. Dave. Surprise. Sunshine. 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 She's very irritating. Sunshine. The winner of this task will save themselves from eviction. Come on. Dave completes the course in the fastest time. Dave, now replace yourself. Mm. The housemates will face the public mm. vote. No! Why are you doing that? <laughs> I had to pick one. Every fucking paper, every magazine will be there. Go on, get angry. I'm getting fucking real fucking angry. Sam. We're just a bunch of normal fucking people chilling in the house. If you think you're going to be some sort of fucking rock star when we walk out of here, it's fucking hell. Fucking hell. You, you two should just stay away from each other. On set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play Munch Your Mind. Munch what's on your mind. Mm. Are you ready to play Old Head Pop Topic? Yeah. Are we ever? I wouldn't call her beautiful, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't kick her out of bed anyway. Reveal your eyes! 
answer. I'm going to try Davina McCall. Ooh. Charming. So that pensioner wouldn't kick me out of bed, but tonight you are going to kick one of those three out of the house. Here are the numbers to dial. To Vic Rachel, call 09011 32011. That's 09011 32011. To Vic Shabby, call 09011 32012. That's 09011 32312. Or to Vic Sunshine, call 09011 32014. That's 09011 32014. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15 pence from each call is going to be donated to charity. The lines are going to close later on in the show and please make sure that you dial those numbers carefully. Right, right. So let's catch up with yesterday's action now. And Josie starts the day by telling everyone that she likes cocks and hens and horses. Dear nine. Ten or six a.m. Big Brother is playing an alarm into the house to wake up any sleeping housemates. It's because of you, Kiva. I can't. Mario and Sunshine are in the kitchen. Sunshine, you brought the sun with you today. I know. I'll take it away with me when I get evicted. You're not going to be evicted. I have a gut feeling on it. Do you have a gut feeling on who will be evicted, Dad? Yeah. No. I do. John James and Dave are in the garden. I would have thought this has got to be one of the most volatile first sort of weeks in a Big Brother house they've had. Are you thanking me for that? What's that? Are you thanking me for that or what? I think it's cool. I haven't got a problem with it. That's <laughs> well, not all your faults. I mean, people are having meltdowns left, right, and centre. Oh, You're not mate. arguing with everyone. Nah, just one person. But they all seem to, they all seem to want to fucking get involved, don't they? I'll take them all day, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> thing is, you've got to look at it like this as well. You've got them three girls. If Shabby was to go, right, they're on really sticky ground then, aren't they? Because uh, if one of them's up for eviction next week, the other one's going to have to start mingling a little bit more and try to make more friends, you know? You don't have to tell me. No flies on me, Sunshine. <laughs> I know exactly. I know exactly what's going on. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. I know what's fucking going on. <laughs> one seventeen pm All of the housemates are in the garden. I'm still trying to picture a wombat. A wombat? Yeah, what, what does it look like? I think they look like bats with wombats. Sort of like you, but furry. <laughs> 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 yeah. I want one. Big eyes on them. You want a wombat? I heard they're really yeah. vicious, though, you know. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what the most vicious animal is? What? A Shetland pony. Really? <laughs> they are so vicious, yeah. <laughs> we had we had one because we had a little, we bought a little miniature, like, Cow barrel tools are really vicious, Josie. Cockles are horrible. Yeah, I got attacked by one the other day. Well, it was a hermaphrodite <laughs> cockerel, so it wasn't that bad. Hermaphrodite, hermaphrodite cockerel? Yeah. So what Basically, did one it in every 10,000 hens, yeah, turn into a cock. So, um, I, they, all we had was hens, and then I went out there, and this thing just started cock a doo doing at me, and I thought, what? What, what did it lunge you at you? had a cock. What did it go for you? Yeah. They're horrible. Cock they properly get their claws in. Their cockerels are really nasty. But, but this one wasn't that nasty because obviously it used to be a girl. Are you sure it wasn't just like a cockerel from someone else's no, house? No, no, honestly. Um, yeah, we had a Shetland pony and I'm not joking, the kids couldn't even cross the garden because it just needs to run after the kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was, for, we bought a miniature barrel top wagon for the Shetland pony to pull the wagon across, like with. And uh, he ran. He ran after all of us when we were crossing the garden one time. Reared up and put it and, and smashed through the patio doors. <laughs> <laughs> what? They just moved. Really Is it like evil? A psychotic pony. Yeah, they are psychotic. They got little pony syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, when we were younger, my mum. We only used to have a little kite slice, but my mum used to always keep horses out the back in the garden. And uh, one time we all went out for the day. Come back. The horse is only in the kitchen, uh, in the front living room, watching the TV. I know. You didn't make that much of a mess. 
<laughs> now, you know what they say, cometh the man, cometh the hour. Unless you're JJ, in which case it's more like 30 seconds. And tonight, in about an hour, one of our three women will cometh out of those doors as our very first evictee of 2010. But first, we have this to come up after the break. I'm having a big problem because I really fancy Kiva, right? <laughs> Welcome back to your first eviction of Big Brother 2010. So when a oh Rachel, that's her name, entered the house, she said that she would be the fittest housemate bar none. But tonight, will it be the survival of the fittest or could Sunshine or Shabby avoid extinction? Here are the numbers to dial. To evict Rachel, call 09011 323 011. 09011 To evict Shabby, call 09011 323 012. 09011 323 012. Or to evict Sunshine, call 09011 323 014. That's 09011 323 014. OK, so it's time now for our second bit of house action. And our housemates have got the horn. And I'm not talking about those annoying voo-voo-voos from the World Cup. <laughs> Two twenty-two p.m. Some of the housemates are in the garden. Okay, if we could be anywhere in the world now, where would we be? I'm happy to be right here. Gosh, you're such a <laughs> diplomatic soul. Josie and Rachel are in the bedroom. Yesterday, Rachel and John James had an argument at the dinner table. I said yesterday in the dining room. Said they said they asked me why they reckon like. You know, you're not getting on, and I said, uh, I reckon he's just going for his free monthly cycle because you haven't done nothing wrong. But this, the thing that's embarrassing for me is that I've been in the diary room a few times, so I've seen my foo, and I've said like, I have, I fancy him, I really like him. So how embarrassing is that for me? I'm just noticing now. It's a bit, it just feels awkward. Do you know, I reckon it's just sexual tension. I do. I really do. When you like someone, you don't want to look rough around them, do you? But he took that the wrong way, say, me meaning that I'm vain and that I wish that I did all my hair and makeup for this com conversation. When he's talking a conversation, I feel like I can't join in because... Don't make... No, but when I have that, when I have tried to join in, it's like everything I say he disagrees with. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, the thing is, I can't, I like, I can't slack him off because I do reckon that it is sexual tension. I do reckon that's the only reason he's doing it is because he likes you and he don't want to like you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God, I've got the horn! you got the horn, it's the sunshine. Massively, massively. I get the horn in the sunshine. But, you know, I'm having a big problem because I really fancy Kiva, right? Yeah. Really fancy her. And, like, this isn't just in, like, a fancying in the house kind of way. I really, really do. Yeah, everyone can tell that. You're falling in love. I'm falling in love. She's wicked. And, like, I, I, have, I haven't told her and she doesn't know. And my reason for that is because she has a boyfriend yeah. and she's not gay and all these things. You know, if she didn't have a boyfriend, would it be different? What, would I tell her? Yeah. Yeah. What is wrong with us all? <laughs> We're young, brandy little bastards. You randy man! <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's one of those things where when we get evicted they give us 30 minutes, would you tell her then? Knowing the guy will come back in 30 minutes. Yeah. But it might just be like... You have been evicted. You have ten seconds, fucking seconds yeah. to leave the house. I know. Do you want to get in the pool? Um, it's really cold in there, though. Once you're in, it's all right, then. <laughs> what are you girls cha cha chatting about? Did, he, did Big Brother not just call there? John, I... Yeah? I think Rachel's a bit upset. But... <laughs> Still? Well, what have I done now? I didn't have said no, anything. No, 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 but it just feels a bit awkward, I think. Oh, what, and I don't? <laughs> yeah, I know, but she said that she wanted to sort it out. She hasn't spoken to me since. I think she's a bit frightened. I'm well, not a scary man. Sometimes you are. Yes, you are. Do you want me to go and apologise to her or something? Is it really an appropriate time? I'm sure a lot of other shit's going through her head. Is it really an appropriate time for me to go? I reckon if you and Rachel started chatting properly, you'd actually get on really, really well. Oh, I never... I, I don't. I think they're pulls apart in terms of character. 
I, I, I do. I just, I just don't like arrogant people, that's all. But she could be arrogant. She, she's entitled to her opinion. She's entitled to how she feels. She, that's fine. Well, I don't think she'll be arrogant for as long as she lives, mate. <laughs> <laughs> After what you've done. <laughs> After what you've done to her. Do, 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 do. I just want to have a, I just want us all to have a nice conversation together. It's horrible when you like someone and they don't like you back. Tension, and that's only after one week. Imagine what they're going to be like after 13. I'll see you after the break when we've got this coming up. high levels of sunshine and I'm not talking about Corin's face. I am referring to the singing, the sulking and the Veruca related hysteria of sunshine. But tonight you decide if you want Rachel Shabby or sunshine to ride off into the sunset. Here are the numbers to dial. To Vic Rachel call 09011 32311. 09011 32311. To Vic Shabby call 09011 32312. 09011 or to Vic Sunshine call 09011 32014. That's 09011 32014. Right, let's get the next dose of action from inside those famous doors. And as the housemates have a totally rubbish task to compete, Rachel is having a totally rubbish time. Five or six p.m. <laughs> For this week's task, Commission Impossible, housemates are taking part in three pilot TV shows. Yesterday, they won £200 towards this week's shopping budget. Today, they have the chance to win another £200 in the totally rubbish quiz. Kiva and John James are blindfolded and must guess what their teammates are throwing over them. The amount of swings you get depends on the number of questions you answer correctly. Within the vinyata is a token representing money towards this week's shopping budget. Yes. You must smash the vinyata and release the token to claim it. Yes. Reds, please announce who will be answering the questions. Me. Let's play the totally rubbish quiz. Ippy. Finish the title of the famous Clive King children's novel, Stig of the What? Stig of the Dance! Woo! Yeah, what does your boss give you if you aren't very good at your job? A discipline. Discipline. No, I don't know. Do not be. Make five. No, I'm gonna. Hold on. You're very good at your job. Oh, it's a beautiful job. If being you serious. I'm telling off. No! <laughs> <laughs> 
If he would fail to answer correctly. Damn it! Okay, I love it. If he, what infamous terrorist has a rubbish middle name? Oh. <gasps> no. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Yeah. yeah. Be true or false? Bins were first invented in 1862 by a man named Dolores Binkowski. False. What C is a waste disposal function used to help and aid environmental growth? What C help environmental growth? Compost. What was the name of the bush kangaroo star of the Australian TV series? Oh, oh I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. they've done it again. The 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 bush kang. Oh, Skippy. Oh yeah, Skippy. Yeah. With 200 pounds at stake, John James has just five chances to smash the bin yarder and grab the cash. Get all your aggression out on that, John. You should do the trick. <laughs> your attempt will start on the sound of the klaxon. All right, come on, John. Two. Yeah. Commiserations, Red Team. You were totally rubbish and have failed to win anything. Anything? <laughs> Nothing. Not one P. The Dutchman men are on strike. It's complete chaos. Now, listen, I've got very, very, very good news for you. It's super exciting. On this year's eviction shows, you can kill two birds with your one phone. Listen, I'm not kidding. You can not only vote by phone to evict our housemates, you can call in and actually tell our housemates in person what you think of them, and your comments might be used during future eviction interviews. Now, listen, you can call our Big Brother comments line 0871 200 2244. That's 0871 200 2244. Double four, or you know, you can tweet us, uh, or you can find us on Facebook. So, hopefully, speak to you soon. But who will tonight's Eric T be? You can find that out later on, and I'll be seeing you after the break. Psst. Oi, Corin, it's me, the tree. I want you to tell an outrageous lie about yourself to each of the other lot. <laughs> Big Brother 2010. Tonight, posh squatter Shabby could exchange a life without a job or any responsibilities squatting in somebody else's house for a life without a job or any responsibilities squatting in someone else's house. Very soon, either Shabby, Rachel or Sunshine will lose their squatter's rights and be evicted into the real world. But who do you not give a diddly squat about? To evict Rachel, call 09011 3230011. To evict Shabby, call 09011 3230012. That's 09011 3230012. Or to evict Sunshine, call 09011-3230014. That's 09011-3230014. Okay, let's get back to the house now. John James seems to be taking the treat him mean, keep him mean, keen mantra. You know what I mean. He's taking it a little bit too far with Rachel, I think. Seven twenty p.m. Some of the housemates are in the kitchen completing this week's shopping list. Kiva, Shabby, Jovan and Josie are at the carousel talking about Rachel. I just think it's, this whole John thing is getting to her now. I don't do that. I don't do that. No. I think it's pointless. There it is. I, I reckon really I'll sort it out in a minute. Really? Like them to, because... I reckon they get really well. Uh, I don't, but simply because I think it's more of like a personality clash than anything else. Yeah, I don't even think it's... Because they've got the mic shit here. John James and Rachel are in the bedroom. 
Do you feel as if it's my fault or do you think... I'm not saying like it's your fault or my fault, I just feel very uncomfortable now. And you say that you want to re resolve this or whatever, but why do you have... Why do you have cheeky little dips at me when... What, that, that, no, 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 out, out there when you were talking to Jovan, and I heard what you said, when you were saying, like, little sly remarks, you don't have to bullshit me and tell me that you didn't, but I heard you, and I'm not stupid. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be even want you to hear because you've hurt my feelings. Why, why would you approach a situation like that? That's more immature than anything that's ever been done. But why did you shout at me in the kitchen in front of everyone? That isn't immature, but that's like bullying, making me feel shit in front of everybody. <laughs> it was a joke of a conversation, it wasn't serious. So if it's... So how, is, so how is that worse than you being immature in the garden? But you don't understand as well. You wanted me to hear what you said in the garden? Yeah, of course I did. Well then what's the difference? I wanted you to hear what I said in the kitchen. Okay then, we're both acting completely fine, normal. No, I don't think we're acting completely fine and normal. I think the way you went about it was immature. Okay. I think what I did was wrong, but only because there were other people at the table. Well, that, I'm and immature and you're wrong. There we go. You might have everyone else bluffed and you might crap onto everyone else about how it was a joke. But I know that is deep down what you're thinking. I've heard you. You are more worried about going tomorrow because you don't want to look like an idiot in front of your friends because you don't want to go out first more than what you are you worried. You don't know me at what? all. Even before I met anyone in this house, I said to my friends, I guarantee if I'm up in the first week, I'll go because people hate me and obviously people like you hate me. I don't hate you. You don't care. You don't want to get to know me. You so we should just stay out of each other's way. Because you, you overreact over everything. And you just... Oh. Yeah, what? What? I thought you were going to finish the sentence. Look, you were the one that continued to go on about this. I was quite happy not to talk to you. You were the one that thought you'd yeah, be... Yeah, but I didn't know... I don't not want to talk to you. You're the one that thought you'd be a smart no, ass. No, you John, thought, you, you thought you'd be a smart ass in the kitchen, in, in, the, in the backyard, and start whispering shit to Joe so that, you could, so that I would hear. And you admitted it. Yeah. I, I was finished. I had finished. Yeah, but so you didn't want to talk to me ever again? That's what you're saying? Yes. That's how I would have handled it, yes. Well, but, you kept, but you kept going. Because I upset you at the kitchen, you got upset, you started crying, so I was willing to drop John, it. John. But you kept going. You kept going today. I John, didn't. I'm very John. sorry. I've got to leave. John, not to, be, not to interject, but it was, it was only complimentary, the things that you were saying in the garden. But she already, she already admitted it. She already admitted it. She wanted me to hear. She said that. Oh, right. She... No, well, did you I, watch I, you? No, 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 no
Yeah, even I had to walk to the other side of the room because I felt so uncomfortable. And even when I was on my bed and he was on his bed, it just bed, got heated. I it, think he was shouting, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Also, he he's gone off again, big time. Yeah. He needs to just fucking drop it, big time, doesn't it? Because he's not doing himself no favors. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Why does another person here make you feel that angry? Because it's of the way not, she approaches not, situations. It's, it's not heard of. But the thing is, John, nobody <laughs> else sees that she approaches situations like this apart from, <laughs> apart from you. So maybe it's, yeah, just hypothetically, maybe it's more to do with you than it is to do with her. Oh, definitely, uh, it's definitely more to do with me than it's to do with her. And I'm not denying that, because she doesn't dislike me. This is Big Brother. Would John James come to the dining room? Yeah, fucking I thought Hello, John James. How are you feeling? I'm pissed. I don't think I can. Ha I can't take it anymore. I seriously, I couldn't even be bothered. Seriously, I can't deal with. I can't deal with someone like that in the house. I just can't. She annoys the shit out of me. Do you think raising your voice in these situations helps to resolve them? No, I don't. No, I don't. John James, your emotions seem to be running high. If you took yourself out of the situation and imagined you were advising a friend on the situation and on how to handle it, what would you advise them? <sighs> Just to relax. <laughs> can you take this advice yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Big Brother would advise you to take time to calm down, to collect your thoughts, and to try to avoid any further conflict. Fuck. I'm just kicking myself because it's just fucking, I've just fucked it. But well, I've done what I've done, and that's it, isn't it? <laughs> Eight forty eight PM. Sunshine is in the diary room going through this week's shopping list. Big Brother, may I make a request for the shopping list? On the chance that I am still here next week. Tofuti is a brand and it's a cream cheese spread which is dairy free because there's not much vegan stuff on here. That would make me happy should I stay for another week. And also should I stay for the next week as well. Shabby, Mario and Ben are in the kitchen. What are you doing? Uh, this is a mess, is the best way I can describe it. This, this is what we'd be eating as Ben cooked every night. No, I just, I just thought we might as well not waste, waste the rice. I just fried it up with some Sunshine's illegal margarine. Mm. I mean, it's not going to be great. It'll probably be rank. I should probably try some. Yeah, you be... Just be to a, make sure it's not poisonous. You be the royal... You be the... I can't even burn this yeah, Be careful, for God. Mm. Is it all right? <laughs> It's, um, interesting. it's interesting, my lovely. Corin is in the bathroom. Psst. Psst. Oi, Corin. It's me, the tree. Stay where you are. If anyone comes in the bathroom, I'll shut up and you pretend no one's happened. Right. Then come and find me later on, alone. Get it? Yeah. Corin, how would you like to get someone's suitcase back? I want you to tell an outrageous lie about yourself to each of the other lot. That's a total of 13 lies. 13 different lies. And you've got till 10 o'clock to do it. All right, I'm on it. They better be really juicy lies too. All right. For example, you could tell them you've never used a sunbed before. Now that really would be an outrageous lie. <laughs> Whose suitcase are you after? Um, Rachel's. Oh, hark at Mother Teresa. I hate do-gooders. <laughs> so, if you tell good enough lies, one to each of them lot, before ten o'clock, Rachel's suitcase will miraculously turn up in the storeroom later. Understand? Yeah, got it. However, if you don't do it, or you tell anyone what you're up to at any time, including if the suitcase arrives, or that you've had a conversation with a tree, Rachel will face the wrath of the Tree of Temptation. Right, OK. You still here? Yeah. 
Clock's ticking. <laughs> you all right, babe? This is the first time I've ever done hand washing in my life. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? I've never even used a washing machine. You've never used a washing machine? No. I'm allergic, mate, to washing powder soap. Don't come out in a rash now tomorrow. Yeah, that wouldn't be so good. I know. I'm doing my nails again later. Chill out. I don't know why I paint my nails, because I'm allergic to nail varnish. Yeah, don't but, know. I know. <laughs> you know, I can still smell that garbage up my nose. I can. I've just set a little bit of it then off the ground. Yeah. When I was picking the washing up. I think I'll try tea. I've never tried tea. That's one thing I've never had. Tea? Yeah. You're joking. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. Let's get you right on that. Yeah. Just hope I can go to the toilet soon. It's doing me. I didn't. I usually have that chlorical in integration or something. I usually have that done like once a week, so I think. Really? Yeah. Once a week? Once a month. Oh, yeah. I once got a job I auditioned to be a lap dancer in this club. And on like the first day, I've got, got the sack for it for saying that I was being too friendly to the punters. Can you imagine? <laughs> How embarrassing is that? What is it, babe? It's body lotion, but it's um, a nice one. Apparently, they all got took off the shelves because. I don't, it was in one of the face clubs, there was something in it, and a woman had used it, and all the face had gone all, like, she was dead bad allergic to it, and I'm sure it all got took off the shelves. I think I need to lie down again. Tired. Yeah. <laughs> you had a lot of sleep, though, didn't you, last night? Yeah, loads. You must have been in a deep sleep, because I kept waking up and you were snoring. The last time yeah, I had this pizza was sick oh, everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> everywhere. I won't be having hummus. Last time I had that, I'm out in a rash. Will you get that off there for us, babe? Because I'm allergic to mushrooms. If they come near me, I get a rash. It's <laughs> cracked one of my fillings in my tooth. Yeah. yeah. I've just done that. Have you? I'm hoping I don't get any pain in there. Rachel, Shabby and Sunshine are all flirting with eviction and as John James would say, one of them is going to get slammed by you. I'm going to be talking to the house after the break. Shortly, we will be making our first cut, and it is going to be very good. But now it's time for your final fifth of house action. And after Corinne's duff lies before the break, she thinks she might actually be up the duff. 11.37 p.m. Corinne is in the closet. Some of the housemates are in the kitchen. The sunshine's food. She doesn't like hummus. She doesn't like hummus. Like this is Big Brother. The storeroom oh, is now go. open for housemates to collect their shopping. Coffee. You've eaten more than me. I absolutely oh, check them. I wonder what we've got. Let's have some toast now, can't we, Killer? Isn't it? Have a cup of coffee. Yeah. What was that all about? What? Well, that's the best I could do. Who gives a toss about your bloody allergies? <laughs> Since when was telling someone you're allergic to mushrooms an outrageous lie? I can't think of outrageous. You're rubbish. I'm not. Listen. Go on. I'm feeling uncharacteristically generous. If you go back in there and tell someone an absolutely huge whopper of a lie, then Rachel will get her suitcase. And remember, you must never, ever say a word about our chat. Right. Not ever, OK? OK. Now go get lying. <laughs> I'm OK, thanks, hon. What can I do to thank Big Brother for my food? All I can think of is jumping the pool with my clothes on. 
Come and have a look at it and see if it looks like a good idea. See if it's warm. It won't be warm. No. Sure. Yeah. It's not fun drinking cold when you're in. Should we go and see if there's a lot of chat in there? Huh? Come and have a look with me. Oh. I just, if I tell you something, you won't say out while oh, you're yeah, trying to sure. I, I didn't know if it's said or not, but it's been on my mind because, like, before I come in here, mm -hmm. like, I, I should be due on my period and I've not come on it yet. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, I'm, like, about, like, four weeks now, like, yeah. and I'm a bit shitting it, like, do I go in and say something to Big Brother or not? Let's just talk so they don't think we're talking. Yeah. Right, so there's a possible chance isn't there, that I could be pregnant, like, and I'm a bit But your girlfriend's a girl. Yeah, that's what I mean, but obviously not with her. And I'm thinking, like, I should have, like, come on. Oh, it's quite warm. I'm going to give you a pregnancy test really quickly. And how shit is that, though, like, doing it now and tell it? I'll say, if you want to see the GP, and yeah. please, can you not broadcast the conversation? I just had the sunshine because I was asking her for health advice. Yeah. When you see the GP, saying, I could be pregnant, please, can you provide me with a pregnancy yeah. test? Yeah. Don't say out, will you, babe? Of course not. I know you won't. Okay? Okay. Bye for me. Hey, babe. Oh. What's he saying? Get the apples out. You are the fun. Psst. Corinne. Hmm? That was awesome. Was it? Yeah, that's what I call lying. Right, good, because that's all you're getting. Do I have a one? The Tree of Temptation is very happy with your work. Hmm. So does she win the suitcase? Yeah, she'll get her suitcase. Loving it, thank you. Now leave me alone and never tell anyone about me. Yeah, and a mate and everyone's going to think I'm pregnant. Good. <laughs> 12.40am. Steve, what? Div, Ben and Mario are in the nest. I could really do one of these places. It's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. I love this place. Come into my doom. I'd, I'd well, prefer guys, why, it if why... we didn't have this bit. Mm. We should have like a little regular, a regular boys club in here every night. We should all come in for a bit of a chin wag. Yeah. Yeah, one out, one out. Definitely. No, no smelly girls allowed. No duplicitous people. <laughs> Shabby and Kiva are in the diary room. How will you feel if you become the first housemate to be evicted? How do you think I'll feel if I become the first housemate to be evicted? More it's bloody social suicide. <laughs> I'll never live it down. I just don't understand. I'm not a bad person. I, I have a heinous temper, but I am compassionate and I mean well. And at least I've been bloody real. Mm -hmm. At least I've... Not See done thing. Colors. This is my bit now. Sorry. <laughs> You've had your yeah, piece. But we've seen your true colours, that's what I'm saying. John James and Rachel are in the bedroom. John, I just wanna um just say like obviously it could be my last day tomorrow, so I just wanna like forget about everything and just can we kind of be normal if you will give me As much as you think that I dislike you, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable around certain situations like when everyone's outside and stuff like that because I know that you're not like I'm a lot probably a little bit stronger than you like like mental wise like I can handle certain situations like probably a little bit better than what you can I, I, I'm not getting upset over this like I am because of course I want the group to work as a unit do you know what I mean but it's, it's very hard for me like look it's not your fault you, you think that I hate you and I don't I don't I don't hate you I'm aware that I, I said some things that I probably shouldn't have said. Do you know what I mean? Like, and 
So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an idiot. I'm not saying I'm not going to hold you to that for the rest of our time together. But I don't hate. I don't hate you at all. And I would just rather, like, like I say, it could tomorrow it could be when I say no one knows. So I just would rather enjoy it and not have this awkwardness. Yeah. That because that is how I feel. You do feel. You do feel awkward. Yeah. See, like fucking hell. Like I feel. I feel really bad because like. Me, me, me and you finding is one thing, but to you, for you to be left out of shit and... and no, I'm not that, saying I'm what, left out, but I, I choose... Do feel, I do feel bad, because... Yeah, but I'm not saying that's, that you've like, made me left out. I just choose when you're and, there not to yeah, be around, because I shouldn't be all, like that, but. Yeah, well, this is what I'm saying. I don't want to be like that anymore. And even if you don't like me or <laughs> your opinion doesn't change of me, I would just rather be able to at least sit in a room with you and talk in a group conversation and not feel like I can't. So if if it's okay, can we just like draw a line under it now? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to hug me now, please? Uh, are you all right? Get up. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Oh, John. It's all right. One or nine a.m. Sunshine and Corinne are in the bathroom. So you won't say out, will you? What oh, I, oh. I know what you won't. They, they just said, um, come back and speak to us tomorrow about mm-hmm. it. And they're going to pull from one of them. Yeah, probably. That's good. There you go, mate. This is Big Brother. The story is now open. For what? Why? Why? What's the story I'm open for? I wonder what's in the story. I'll her around. Does our ball do a lot now with my hair, Ben? I do. She, she looks like a ballerina, doesn't she? You look like Lorraine Chase, who was a famous model. La, 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 la. Do you know who Lorraine Chase is? I love how she's putting hairspray on before she goes to bed. <laughs> Rachel! Yeah? Someone, <laughs> someone... Has been you have been chosen by one of your fellow housemates to receive your suitcase and clothes. <gasps> Who's done that? I don't know, but there you go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, Steve. Oh my god! Who's done that? Do you know? Oh. I'm afraid sunshine. Wait, did any of you guys ask for Rachel's suitcase to be returned? No. no. Really? Why is it? Is that what's come? Yeah. Just oh. Rachel. She got it back here. With her clothes in. Yeah. So what? And the what? other two as well? No, nah, just Rachel's. I hope I get. <laughs> have you got your sunshine? Oh my god, are you on it? Who did it? Was it me? Was it one of you two? It wasn't me. I was didn't it ask. you, Ben? No one else has got theirs. It just says on here. You have been chosen by one of your fellow housemates to receive your suitcase and clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it was it? Yeah, because this I'll show you my eviction dress. Oh my god. This is what I was planning on wearing. <laughs> Very shortly, either Sunshine, Rachel or Shabby are going to be joining us in our new studio as the first big team of 2010. The lines are closed. They can do no more. But before we find out who's going, let's see how our three ladies from what could be their last day in the Big Brother house. Shabby. <laughs> I've not done my usual routine, I've not had a shower first thing. It's my last day, fuck it, I'll stink. How would you feel if Davina called your name out this evening? I would be devastated. Re- really, really devastated. Now that John James and I have made up, I'd really like to stay and get to know him better. Um, and, and everybody, but... Yeah. <laughs> How will you feel if you get evicted from the Big Brother house? I think I'll be sad. Um, and, like, one of the reasons for that is because even in just a week, I'd created the kind of just a lovely group of people around me, which was really nice. And so I don't want to leave them. When I found out I was up for eviction, the first thing I said is, right, for the next three or four days, the public are going to see the 100% best of me. And I think I've given them a little slice of sunshine cake. 
oh, I'm cacking myself. How will you feel if you get evicted from the Big Brother house tonight? Like crap. I didn't expect to be up for nominate for, to be up for eviction in my first week. I didn't, and maybe I should get my head out of my own ass and realise that any of us could have been. And it's not really like I've held back this week. But the thought of the entire process this evening just makes me feel so, so sick because I'm just not ready to go yet. Yeah, that's the friends and family. They're all here tonight rooting for Shabby, Rachel and Sunshine, hoping that it isn't their name that I call out. Hi, guys. Uh, so who do we think's going tonight? <laughs> You're all going to find out in a minute, but first, we're about to find out who's not going tonight because I'm going to reveal in no particular order which of those three are safe from eviction. So I'm, I'm in the studio to try and avoid any of the housemates hearing the crowd, so please don't give anything away. Um, and it's now time to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. Please do not swear. Hello. Hi. Rachel, Shabby and Sunshine. The lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified and I can now reveal in no particular order that the first person who is safe from this week's eviction is... Shabby. <laughs> Rachel and Sunshine, I will reveal the first person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Very shortly. Oh. So mean. Find out who's going after the break. Welcome back to Big Brother and your very first eviction of 2010! Now, before the break, I spoke to the housemates and revealed that Shabby was safe from this week's eviction. That leaves a straight battle between Rachel and Sunshine. It's time to talk to the house. Brother House, this is Davina. Please do not swear. Rachel and Sunshine, the lines are closed. The votes have been counted and verified. And I can now reveal that the first person to be evicted from the Big Brother House is... Told you. Rachel, it's now time for you to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you! Yes, I'm right. Should we get some shine out? I don't know, Robin. I'm saying get, no, get someone out. They said some shine. They said some Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rachel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Rachel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Rachel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house.
has been booted out. So I'm going to be talking flirting, fighting, being first out shortly. But uh, first, let's have a look at her time in the house. How would you cope if a fellow housemate got more attention from the male housemates? Um, I don't, I don't think that that would be possible, really, because I'd probably be the most attractive girl in there. Rachel White. Beyonce look alike. She's so lovely. You're beautiful. Rachel's hot. She's absolutely fucking amazing. I am enjoying it so much. I still can't believe it. Like when I wake up, I'm like, oh my god, I'm actually doing it. I think she's fun. I think she's a diva. I am um, calm, cool. But I think she's interesting. I got a B in GCSE math. Oh. I'm a hairdresser. Is everyone happy? Is everyone happy? Are you okay, babe? No. We didn't buy any tokens, did we? That means no use of hair straighteners for a week. That probably isn't such a big deal for you, babe, because your hair's lovely, but mine's not. It's not that I don't like you. <laughs> I fucking hate Rachel. I feel dead horrible, like, no one fancies me, and I find it dead weird. But I honestly don't believe she's the sort of girl that would give you a, a pot of pissing. I actually really like him. If it's OK, can we just, like, draw a line under it now? Oh, ooh. oh. Pardon me. Yesterday, I was like, I want to go, I want to go. Everyone loves you. Everyone in this whole place. Everyone. <laughs> but today, I'm like, I really want to stay. Let's go! Fragile and vulnerable. Oh. How was it? How was it? How was it leaving the house? How was, how was the reception? What, what did the you? The reception was great. Everyone has been so like coming out. I was so scared that everyone hate me. Well, it's, well, it's interesting how after a week in there, even though you've been evicted, your reception when you came out was better than it was when you went in. Yeah, and I feel good about that. Really do. I didn't want to leave, but I do feel good that I've. Um, I'm not that girl when I walked in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm let's happy. just talk about the circumstances under which you left because you weren't nominated by your fellow housemates. Yeah. Dave was. Uh, Dave then got a task, he won the task, and he swapped his name for yours, and that's yeah. why you're sat here. How do you feel about that? that uh, I felt really cheated, and really, I felt it was really unfair. Yeah. Um, hey, Dave. The thing is, like, me and Dave, we never really got on, but we didn't, I didn't think we disliked each other that much. I mean, I know I nominated him, but I just think he maybe is playing a game or something because really it seemed like an odd reason. To it well, didn't seem I don't know. It se seemed like he a said funny one thing. reason to me and then one reason to other people. So so what? Who do you think you nominated you then? <clears throat> what nominate? I didn't. Yeah, did I, I mean, get you, you, yes, you did get a couple of nominations. I'm guessing probably Sunshine, John James, John James, yes, um, and Dave, and Dave. You got John James and Dave. Now you um, entered the house as a single lady. Yeah, and I still am. <laughs> and you still are. Yeah. And I know that was a bit of an issue for you, wasn't it? Because yeah. I think you're used to being adored. Well, not necessarily adored, but I do like male attention and I like to have a little cuddle and snuggle, even if it's just with like my friend, like boyfriends. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and, the, and the one guy you wanted some attention from hated didn't me. Didn't want to give you any talk. <laughs> have a look at this. Are you a single lady? I am a single lady, yay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! It's Beyonce! <laughs> I don't thought my luck was in. Give the lighter to who you'd like to kiss in this house. I'm a single lady. I'm a single Rachel's gonna get more sides tonight, aren't I? I'm feeling dead upset because no, there's no one to flirt with. You'd be the easiest person to give a blowjob ever. Because I think John's like good looking, John James, he's like. Probably more my type. <laughs> I fucking hate Rachel. I could do it. I fucking hate her. Just constantly just walks around that house looking at me like I'm like a piece of gum on her shoe or something. <laughs> There's that look. Yeah. You, you give me some sort of look like, a, like I'm some sort of idiot or something. I don't and, think that. He's like not got any interest in me whatsoever. I fucking can't stand her. So if you think you're going to be some sort of fucking rock star when we walk out of here, no one you're fucking for your opinion. Okay, fucking hell. Fucking hell. I don't give a fuck. No one asks your opinion. To be honest with you, I, I don't think um, she's as attractive as what everyone's making out. All my life I fucking hated girls like that. John James hates me. <laughs> I 
I hate girls that are arrogant purely because of what they look like. And I think that she thinks she's better than certain people just because of what she looks like. And that fucking drives me crazy. I actually really like him. And he hates me. <laughs> Wait, so can I just say, I can't believe that you were still saying I actually really like him when he's been awful. I know, everyone was saying that, like Josie and Jay Van and all, why? everyone. why? I don't, I don't know. I, Do I don't you like treating and mean people? No, him? I don't, but I just really wanted him to change his opinion on me and get to know me. And, and just... normally you can do that, can't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I think he just judged me straight away and when, I, when he entered the house and never really gave me a chance, you know. What was his problem? I, I don't know. Do you think he fancied you? I don't know. I don't think he did. No, I just I think don't. he really, really, really didn't like you, but I can't figure out why. I think why. maybe it's personality clash. I don't know. Did you really like him? Or I do did... you think it was being in the house? Yeah, I mean, no, was I it do... a magazine? Or were you thinking, like, oh, look, relationship, I can... I mean, no, I don't know. No, did, but did just... you really? Yeah, well, I found him attractive. I think he's a good-looking guy. Mm. I don't necessarily want a relationship like with him. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I would have liked to have got to know him better. You kind of nearly made up, didn't you? Do you think you yeah. might have become friends if you'd have stayed in any longer? I hope so, but I don't know if he just made up with me to make my last day a bit more bearable. I think he might have done. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. but you, said, you said one of the things was you always give moody looks. But he Can we just around. see some of the moody looks that you give? Because, because I don't think that's moody. That's just going... I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. That that's is not moody. That confusion. <laughs> yeah, and let's have a look at the, another one. Look, I think... I think this one's rather attractive. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, like that. <laughs> yeah, but There's did you see new. the way John James walks around? He's quite um, always frowning, yeah. always. Yeah. So when he looks at me going, exactly. I look at him back. <laughs> do you, do you, can you see, because he was going on and on about you being arrogant, can you see anything that he might have a point? Well, I think he kept going on about like the way I look and stuff like that, and I've got... Like any girl, I've got so many insecurities, but I just try and put a brave face and ignore it. And I'm not going to let, like, well, I did let him make me feel bad about that. And I don't think it's bad to walk around with your head held high. But uh, do you think, because when you went into that house, you were kind of like, you know, oh, I yeah. know that I'm a good looking yeah. girl and I, you know, I expect to be the best looking girl that's sort of in that yeah, type yeah. of thing. Do you think that counted against you? Because, you know, a lot of girls vote on this program. Yeah, it, yeah, it probably did. And uh, maybe I said a few over exaggerated things, but. That's obviously how I felt at the time. Now, do you... Let's talk housemates, in fact. Okay. Let's just move on to housemates. Yeah. So, um, now, everybody's in that house is sex-starved. We've seen a yeah. lot of, like, you know, everybody's like... And it's, you've only been in there for, a, for what, yeah. ten days. Look, look at this. Give us sex or we'll explode! <laughs> um, so, can you talk about some couplings in there? Is there any romances that you think are brewing? Anything well, that you're feeling? There's, um, I know that Nathan's, Nathan and Josie seem to be very, like, touchy-feely. Which, like, broke my heart. Because I think you... Nathan's wicked. But... Nathan you, is wicked. Well, you didn't tell him. You spent the whole time going on about John James, uh, who's being horrible to you. You I know, missed the that, boat. Well, that, 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 that seems to take up such a big thing, and I wish it never now. But anyway, and I know that Shabby is a really big crush on Kiva. And, but I don't think, I don't think there's any romances going to happen. I really can't. Oh, and obviously, Mario um, is in love with Ben. And Ben, but unrequited. Yeah, isn't it? that's never going to so happen. So in love with him. Listen, I know John James was absolutely furious at the idea that this might happen, but are we going to be looking at you in Zoo and Nuts and OK and Hello um, and everywhere? I don't, personally, I don't think that they'd want me in those magazines. So. What do you think, boys? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Yeah. <laughs> I was just joking about all those things, but we'll see. Um, so listen, never, never some never. of the housemates, they made a little message for you um, to, in the case of you being uh, evicted. So just have a quick look at this. Hey Rachel, if you're watching this, um, I'm really sad that you've left the house. You was a great laugh to be around, like with the like, funny toilet things and that that you say, and it was good to have someone around that didn't wash the hair like I didn't. Rachel. You were someone who I thought seemed interesting, not just for physical re reasons, obviously everyone fancies you, including me, but that's not really the point. I thought you had something else to you, and have enjoyed having you in the house, and I'm personally really sad that you're gone. Rachel, if you're watching this, you've obviously been evicted. We had a bit of a personality clash. Um, I regret that now, because if I could change it, I would have approach, approached things in a different way. And now I'm probably giving you a little bit more of a chance to um, um, prove that you weren't the person that 
I thought you were. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed your time in the house and I didn't make things too difficult for you. Do you know, well, they were quite nice, weren't they? Yeah. And, and you know, Corin's, Corin's was very sweet, but you know, Corin got a secret mission and um, she could choose any housemate to give back the suitcase oh, and she chose it you. It was Corin. It was Corin. I really didn't have a clue at all, so... Isn't that lovely? I though? did go into Big Brother and say thank you because I knew I couldn't say thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, it was Corin, so you can she thank her. She would have wanted hers. Comes. Couldn't she get hers? Yeah, no, she could have asked for hers, but she asked for yours oh. instead. <laughs> she's lovely. She is. She's really lovely. Now, listen, we know what your housemates think of you. We've just seen, and we know what the audience think of you. <laughs> but what about the people at home? What do you think of Rachel? So let's find out. Now, on the wall here. We've got four numbers, and uh, each of them has got uh, a person's opinion. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad okay. behind them. So choose a number. Number two. Number two is uh, an email from Jo. Uh, Rachel thinks she's God's gift to men and acts accordingly. Looking down her nose at others is a symptom of her arrogance. That's what, that's what Jo thinks. Choose another number. Um, number four. Number four. Uh, that's Sid. Uh, he says, I shall be... Uh, well, I voted for Rachel. There's no mystique about her. She's predictable. Choose another one. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. OK, it's a phone call. Michelle? Hiya. Hi, Michelle. You are live talking to uh, uh, Rachel here. So what would you like to say? Um, Can you make it nice? Yeah, of course. Uh, the show's fantastic this evening. Love it. Thank you, darling. Um... Rachel, hiya. Hi. What I'd like to know is um, why you felt it's so necessary to wear such skimpy clothing. Why is that, Michelle? Um, and is this something um, that you did for Big Brother? Or it, do you do that on a... On Rachel, a basically, do you walk around in skimpy clothing all the yeah. time? Um, um, yeah. When I'm at... <laughs> but, why, but why does that upset you, Michelle? Well, because my grandchildren and my children watch it, and I just don't think it gives... How old are they? Well... Oh. Can I just say, can I just say something? Yeah. Very quickly, um, when I, I have to wrap you up. When I look at magazines, they're all size zero girls, and I just, I'm proud of my body. Let's if I want to celebrate show it. <laughs> for calling and thank you for being part of the show. All right, thank you. Good evening. Anyway, remember, if you want to get in touch with your opinions, then you can call 0871 200 2244. Um, listen, so you might be out um, and Big Brother's not quite finished with you, though. I just wanted to say that. Now, listen, do you remember Bob Reiter? Yes. OK, so um, he can predict the future. And basically, uh, what he's going to do is he's going to tell one housemate that they are going to have either the day of their dreams or the day from hell okay. tomorrow. Okay. And it is up to you who that is. <laughs> it's up to you who that is and what sort of day they have. Hell! Okay. Okay. Wait! Let her, let her think about this. What would you like I to do, like Rachel? I would like to give Corinne <laughs> She gave me my case back, even though it was only for a day, so I'd like to repay her. Will she know it's from me, though, or not? Um, I'm not sure that she okay. will. I don't think she will. She won't even know what's happening. OK. Or, what, Bob Ryder won't say, Big Brother's going to give you a nice day. Big Brother's okay. just going to do great things for her all okay, day. And she's not going to know yeah. what's going on. Cool. So, that means that Corinne tomorrow is going to have the day of her dreams. All her dreams will come true. It's over to Bob Ryder to deliver the good news. Calibration. As soon as it sets in, she'll be having a right laugh, mate. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And just think, she's not she's knocked in here. Yeah. That is isn't that? I'm yeah. loving it. Yeah. Big time. Right. Yeah. <gasps> God, what if you You obviously only kicked some black when someone's coming. Are you a housemate? Not already. Oh, yeah, only I'm one scared. person get it. Let the ink dry first, because it's still so wet when it first comes I thought that was a horse carousel. I thought somehow there'd be a horse carousel in the bottom. Mm. Congratulations. I can see your hand, love. <laughs> Bob Brighter's eye, Bob Brighter's eye shine in magic light. Tomorrow for Corin is looking bright. What? 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 Say that again. Bob Brighter's eyes shine in magic light. Tomorrow for Corin it's looking bright. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Looking what? bright. 
Bob Bright's eyes shine a magic light. Tomorrow for Corin, yeah, it's looking see. bright. So, so, oh yeah, probably so I have to pa paint myself bright red. <laughs> she looks really frightened. <laughs> she looks really frightened, doesn't she? Anyway, remember you can see how their perfect day or how Corin's perfect day pans out tomorrow on channel4.com forward slash big brother. But for now, please give it up for your first evicting, Rachel. <laughs> And sparkly. Oh, it could be a suitcase, yeah. Yeah, I bet it's my suitcase. It'll be something good. Wow. Yeah, maybe you do. Maybe you should wear something else. Come on, now, I'm having enough of it. Very stressful time, I need to blaze. Hey. I have fucking cabin fever in it. I wonder if that's because I stared in the, I stared in his eyes. I Did think it was today for quite a while. Yeah, and yeah. that's what it says. Bob Bryce's yeah. eyes shine a magic light. Of course. It's where for Corinne. It's <laughs> no, you also stared at one in the To be fair, I stared at yeah. that thing more than anything. They wouldn't have any treats. They might have been a bit. This is your treat. This is your well done. Wow. What a treat. It'll be something good. Really? No way. What is it? I don't know. I think it's going to be just like, oh, I'm painting bright red or something. We all that Tomorrow, I'll be having it. I really, really funny. It's a good thing that I'm just the older to play when they're younger. Or maybe the bright is You're back. It's just been a right old week. It's even a okay, so I.